good day. Welcome to Sir BJ's Math Class. Today, we are going to talk about visualizing ratio of two given numbers. What is a ratio? A ratio is the comparison of two different things or numbers. It is expressed in two ways, as fraction and using a column between two quantities. Let us explore this lesson together. Look at the picture. How many pupils are there? There are 11 pupils. How many teachers are there? There is one teacher. How many chairs are there? There are 15 chairs. How many tables are there? There are 16 tables. How do we compare the number of pupils to the number of chairs in the column? There are 11 pupils and 15 chairs. So if we are to compare the number of pupils to the number of chairs using colon, we write 11 is colon 15, which reads 11 is to 15. How do we compare the number of chairs to the number of tables in the column? There are 15 chairs and 16 tables. So if we are to compare the number of chairs to the number of tables using colon we write 15 colon 16 which reads 15 is to 16 how do we compare the number of teacher to the number of pupils in the column there are one teacher and 11 pupils so if we are to compare the number of teacher to the number of pupils using colon, we write 1 colon 11 which reads 1 is to 11. Take note that the quantities is of the same order which the sequence as it's presented in the statement. Let us give the ratio for the following set of pictures. Three pencils six notebooks colon form three colon six which reads three to six Seven eggs, four baskets, seven colon four, which reads sevens to four.
8 roses, 5 flower pots, 8 colon 5, which reads 8 is to 5. Let us try this. Brian has 40 marbles of different colors. Red, 5. Blue, 10. Green, 20. And yellow, 5. Find the ratio of the following statements. Red marbles to green marbles. The answer, 5 is to 20. Blue marbles to yellow marbles. The answer, 10 is to 5. Green marbles to blue marbles. The answer, 20 is to 10. Red marbles to the number of marbles. The answer, 5 is to 40. Keep in mind that the ratio of red marbles to green marbles 5 is to 20 is different from the ratio of green marbles to red marbles which is 20 is to 5 when writing a ratio it is very important that you consider the correct of the things given in the statement try to divide 5 by 20 and then divide also 20 by 5. Did you get the same answer? For sure, the answers are different. This is the very reason that you should follow the correct order of the quantities as described in the statement. A ratio is also defined as the quotient of first quantity divided by the second quantity. Therefore, a ratio is also a fraction. The first quantity is placed in the numerator and in the second quantity is placed in the denominator. So if we are to express the ratio of 5 red marbles to 20 green marbles in fraction form, we have 5 over 20. Let us do this activity. Give the ratio in colon form and in fraction form. Banana to apple. The answer, 4 is to 5 or 4 over 5 or 4 feet. Pineapple to orange. The answer, 3 is to 6 or 3 over 6 Watermelon to apple The answer 2 is to 5 or 2 fifth Orange to pineapple The answer 6 is to 3 or 6 over 3 Total number of fruits to watermelon the answer 20 is to 2 or 20 over 2 let us summarize the lesson a ratio is the comparison of two different things or numbers it is expressed in two ways as fraction and using a colon between two quantities Give the ratio in colon form and in fraction form. Princess went to the zoo. She listed all the animals she saw. On her list, you can see 8 tigers, 4 crocodiles, 2 lions, 10 parrots, 5 snakes, and 3 giraffe. Tiger to crocodile. The answer is 8 is to 4 
or 8 over 4. Lion to snake. 2 is to 5. Or 2 feet. Parrot to giraffe. The answer 10 is to 3. Or 10 over 3. Giraffe to parrot. The answer 3 is to 10 or 3 over 10. Parrot to the total number of animals. The answer 10 is to 32 or 10 over 32. To write the ratio in colored form and in fraction form. 20 roses through 3 teddies. The answer 20 is to 3 or 20 over 3. Next, 24 boys to 30 girls. The answer 24 is to 30 or 24 over 30. 7 bananas to 10 mangoes. The answer, 7 is to 10 or 7 over 10. 1 hen to 12 eggs. The answer, 1 is to 12 or 1 over 12. And the last, 5 cakes to 7 persons. The answer, 5 is to 7 or 5 over 7. Now, for your assignment, give the ratio of the following statement. Write each ratio in colon form and in fraction form. Number 1, 7 days to 4 weeks. Number 2, 8 children to 10 adults. Number 3, 16 pence to 8 crayons. Number 4, 15 pencils to 10 notebooks. And number 5, 6 apples to 20 baskets. Happy learning! Salamat!